Hello, my name is Jesus Nava, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create charts, how to customize them, and how to apply technical studies. In my previous video, we talked about accessing quotes and how to create list of symbols for easy tracking and monitoring. So make sure to check it out if you need help setting up your watch lists. First, let's create a chart tab. If a chart is not open, or if you need an additional chart tab, click the button next to the last visible tab and select Chart from the drop-down menu. A default symbol usually loads with a preset time interval. In this example, we see a chart of the S&P 500 index set to a five-minute interval using candlesticks. All these defaults can be changed. Just click the Configure button at the top right of the panel and select Global Settings. Defaults such as the interval, the chart style, the trading session, the time zone, and the symbol can all be changed in this dialog. For now, let's use the defaults and I'll show you how to customize the chart. The chart tab allows you to adjust the price and the time scale to focus on specific areas of the chart. Hover anywhere on the chart and use your mouse wheel to adjust the candlestick spacing. Click and hold on the background to move the chart in any direction. Click and drag on the price scale to increase or decrease the range of prices. Use the buttons that appear at the bottom of the chart to decrease bar spacing, increase bar spacing, move to the left, move to the right, jump to the most current bar, and reset scaling. Hopefully, all these features will help you move around the chart with ease. Let's make some more changes. To change the symbol, first click on the chart to make sure it is the Active tab. Then, use your keyboard to type a new symbol or description. If the tab is already active, just type the new symbol without clicking. In this example, let's change the symbol to Microsoft. As you type, search results will appear matching the characters or description. If you enter a symbol, you may just press the Enter key on the keyboard. If you're using a description or a name, select directly from the search results. A toolbar is available on the left side of the chart, giving you access to menu items such as interval, drawing tools, studies, sessions, and chart types. To change the interval, click the Interval button and make your selection from the drop-down menu. You may use the custom box below to enter a minute interval not available in the drop-down. For example, to build 120-minute bars, enter 120 in the custom box and then press the Enter key on your keyboard. There are four different styles of charting to choose from. Candlestick is the default, but you may use the Open High Low Close Bar, an Area Chart, or a line chart. Give them all a try and see which one you like best. For this example, I'll continue using Candlestick. Now let's talk a little bit about trading sessions. Charts in web trading will display the regular trading session for the symbol displayed. In this example, since we're looking at Microsoft, the regular session starts at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, and closes at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. For futures, the trading session varies depending on the commodity loaded on the chart. Web trading allows you to display the pre- and the post-market activity for stocks. Click on the Sessions Toolbar button and select from the menu. In this example, we'll select Regular plus Pre- and Post-Market. You can see how the periods outside the regular trading session are shaded in gray and the beginning and ending of these periods clearly stand out with dotted white lines. You may click the Sessions Toolbar button again if you'd like to remove the gray shade. To draw on the chart, click the Drawing Toolbar button. Here you see drawing tools such as Line, Trend Line, Horizontal and Vertical Lines, and Fibonacci Retracements. The difference between a line and a trend line is that the trend line will extend right. Let's draw a trend line. I select it from the menu, click and hold on the starting point of the trend line, 
and drag it until you reach the endpoint. Let your mouse button go and the trend line is drawn. Do the same thing to draw a line and the Fibonacci retracements. Horizontal and vertical lines will just require a single click on the chart. In addition to these drawing tools, web trading also has a collection of technical studies. Let's take a look. Click the Studies Toolbar button on the left, and the Add Studies dialog opens. For this example, let's add a moving average and volume. From the available side, I select moving average two lines. I scroll to find volume, and to be able to select both at the same time, I hold down the control key and I click it. Clicking the arrow button in the middle will transfer the two studies to the applied side. The carrot buttons on the right allow me to access the calculation parameters of each study. I'm going to set my fast moving average to 30 and my slow moving average to 60. Let's set the volume average to 30 bars. Once the custom parameters are entered, click OK at the bottom of the dialog. To access the studies again, click the Studies button from the toolbar. So this is the chart app in our web trading platform. Our next video will show you how to place trades and how to monitor and manage orders and positions. So make sure to check this video out and continue learning about web trading in this video series. Thank you for watching.